Eccoci friends, this is my translation in English for this Italian video. I hope you like too. So I will show you how to crochet a so easy and very nice shrug. This is really very easy and uh, for beginners too. We will start from a big rectangle, then we will fold it in a certain way to get this nice shrug. Of course, as uh, I did, uh, usually I will give you all the instructions step by step for any size. So, let's go! For this project I have to create a very big rectangle like that. I have 48 centimeters 8 and 74 uh, centimeters length. This is for a medium size. Anyway, I will give you all the instructions step by step for any size, for bigger sizes as well. After that, when my rectangle is ready, I will fold it in a certain way that, that I will show you to create the arm holes and after that I will refine with some complete rounds and will create the sleeve to have my shrug. a 3.5 millimeters crochet hook. Only for the foundation chain I will be using a 4 millimeters crochet hook size. Slip note to start. And now so many chains you need When the foundation chain is ready, remove the 4 mm crochet hook and take the 3.5. Now from here, 4 chains more. And now in the 8th chains, chain from the hook, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 double crochet chain one into the same stitch double crochet one again my V stitch now chain one yarn over skip the next two stitches one and two into the next one double crochet one This is the segment I have to repeat all across this row. I show you again. Chain 1, yarn over, skip the next 2 stitches into the next one. Double crochet 1, chain 1, into the same stitch, double crochet 1. Chain 1, yarn over, skip the next 1, 2 stitches into the next one double crochet one. Go ahead like that all across the row. At the end of this row, V stitch, chain one, Yarn over, skip the next one, two stitches into the last one, one double crochet. The first row is completed, ready for the second one. Chain one and turn your work. 
enter the very first stitch and single crochet one now from here chain three into the next chain one space below one single crochet chain three again into the double crochet below one single crochet repeat chain three single crochet one into the chain one space below chain three single crochet one into the double crochet below and so on all across the row at the end of this row chain three skip the double crochet skip the next chain into the next chain one single crochet to finish this row ready for the row number three chain four one two three and four turn your work and now one single crochet into the chain three space below chain three single crochet one into the next space the next chain three space and continue like that all across the row at the end of this row just chain one and double crochet one into the single crochet below ready for a row number four chain three and turn which takes the place of the first double crochet into the next space below double crochet three chain one into the same space double crochet three into the next space double crochet one that's the first segment i have to repeat all across the row show you again into the next space double crochet three chain one double crochet three into the same space into the next space double crochet one repeat all across the row At the end of this row one double crochet into the chain number one two and three okay now uh, you can start again from row number one because this stitch pattern is just the repetition of four rows one two three and four so i show you how to restart from the first one chain four and turn one v stitch into the chain one space below double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one again now one double crochet into the double crochet below repeat chain one 
one B stitch into the chain one space double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one double crochet one into the double crochet below and go ahead like that repeating one two three four then again one two three four then again one two three four till you get to the needed length for your blouse I worked 81 rows totally for a length of 74 centimeters My shrug is perfectly joined, one sleeve, second sleeve. Now I have to work all the way around starting from the point I like. I just have to refine all the way around. So many rounds, so many times I need for my size. I will tell you how many for myself at the end of my work. So now, here we have the shell, you see. I will start not from this hole, but from the next one. Insert your hook, pull the yarn through the space, chain one into the same space, single crochet one. So I'm ready to start. Chain one from here, yarn over, skip the next space below into the next one, double crochet three, one, two, and three chain one three again in the same space one two and three chain one and now into the same space where i started here after the shell single crochet one show you again chain one show you again chain one double crochet three chain one double crochet three chain one single crochet one and repeat that all the way 
around. At the end of this round, slip stitch to join into the first single crochet of this round. Chain one, again single crochet one into the same stitch, chain one, and now into the chain one space, repeat three double crochet to create your shell chain one into the same space three double crochet so you have just to repeat the same stitch chain one single crochet one into the single crochet below and repeat the same So many rounds, so many times you need, it's necessary for your size. Now I will show you how to crochet the sleeves. Starting from the armhole, slip note to start. Put your hook into the, here you joined, into the next double crochet slip stitch to join the new yarn. Now chain three which takes the place of the first double crochet and now repeat the pattern, the same pattern of previous row. So double crochet one, chain one, double crochet one into the chain one space below. Chain one, double crochet one, chain one and repeat the stitch. So go ahead like that till you get to the end of this row and then repeat a second row like that. So two rows like that. Then we're gonna change pattern. At the end of this row, last double crochet and then slip stitch to join into the first one 
like that. Start second round, chain three, and then chain four and repeat the same pattern. At the end of this second round, after the last V-stitch, slip stitch directly into the first double crochet into the replacing chain and finish like that. Slip stitch to join. Now I will show you a new pattern. Uh, I will make it from round number three till round number 10. Starting chain 3, yarn over into the chain 1 space, double crochet 1, chain 1, double crochet 1. Yarn over into the double crochet below, double crochet 2. And now repeat the same all the way around. Yarn over into the chain one space, double crochet one, chain one into the same space, double crochet one, into the double crochet below, double crochet two. Repeat this pattern all the way around and repeat till you get to the end of round number 10. Thank you. 